what is up guys welcome back to the rbl it's week seven of season two and we have a new challenger in the league so we had uh, a coach step out but we have we had another coach step right back in and now we have coach uh zephyrin with the colossals good thing he doesn't actually have a colossal because i would cry so let's just show my team for this week so of course we have gigantamax cinderace when am i not going to bring it expert bell libero pretty much one of the many sets i've run this one of the same sets next up second in command this week should hopefully be the fridge rotom frost i like this name more than frigidaire so we got a soul fest uh rotom frost levitate rising voltage discharge blizzard di uh dark pulse this is the same one again uh this is the same rotom frost that we used against her bombie teacher so hopefully it puts in the work then we've got Striker right behind him with Weakness Policy, Solid Rock, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Crunch, Protect. Basically, my set's been the exact same for Rhyperior, except we just replaced that third move that's not Stab for him. And this week, it's going to be Crunch. And this name I really like having. We, we have Fairy Cake the Tapu Lele with Choice Scarf, Psychic Surge, exact same thing except for Thunderbolt. So Moonblast, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt. This, I always hope Tapu Lele puts in the work, especially uh, ever since that first battle of this season against Ron Tomato. Then we have brought back, we have brought back Jerry, the Gastronon. Leftovers, Storm Drain, Earth Power Surf, Sludge Bomb, which I really hope will come in handy, and Protect. I really hope Gastronon puts in work. I... I was disappointed by Gastronon's performance the first, the only other time we brought him, so hopefully he does some more. I'll make sure he gets more opportunities. But last but not least is our favorite chaotic bird, Itachi, the Galarian Moltres. Exact same thing. I don't think I've changed this in a few weeks now. Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, Ancient Powder Protect with a Life Orb, and Berserk. So there's the team, and let's pull up Zephyrin's team. There's what we're looking at. Gigantamax Snorlax, which you already know is going to have a berry with Team X Replenish or whatever it's called. I think that's actually what it's called. Tapu Fini, Gothitelle, Arcvizolt, Aerodactyl, Tangela, Trapinch, which all of us were surprised has 100 base attack, which is the same as Flygon. Uh, Alolan Ninetales, Alolan Raichu, and Alolan Marowak. A, a bunch of Alolans, and I love that. But this team is pretty terrifying. It, it was the past coach's team for the most part. But Sapphiron went in and made some changes. And now we've got a lot to work against. So let's cut to the battle, shall we? Alright, there's Sapphiron. Alright, I almost forgot the hat, by the way. I don't think I'm ever going to actually forget the hat. Uh, we'll decide the rules, sure. Okay, we're ready. Let's select Battle Tower. Perfect. Alright. Our team is just the team. Cool. It's just easy to make it the party, you know what I mean? And then we're going to Mustard. I can't see myself changing this for the rest of the season. I'm not one to change something in the middle of a season. Uh, we'll see what happens. But week 7, yeah, I know. Last week I had just put a 6 over the 5 because I forgot to change it. But we're in RBL Season 2 Week 7. So let's see what team Zephyrin is going to throw at us. So right now, I think we're 3-3. Three and three, Or we are 3-3. Three and three. I'm Last night I wasn't sure, but we pretty much have gone... Win, loss, win, loss, win. Do we have two losses in a row and then two wins or something? Like, I don't know. It's confusing. All right, but here we are. Uh, he brought Snorlax, Tangela, Tapu Fini. I kind of expected those three. Aerodactyl, Raichu, and Gothitelle also makes sense. Basically, everything on his team would have made sense to see. So, in other words, I'm terrified. That's given. But what are we going to run? Um, I think it's easy to say we'll start Cinderace here. Cinderace with Gunk Shot destroys the first three at least. Um, who are we run? Who are we running? Oh, I think Itachi's per. Wait, Itachi or 
Oh, wait. The fridge is perfect. The fridge is absolutely perfect. The fridge has... The fridge has electric and ice if we max. And that's... Elect oh my gosh, that's perfect. And we have a dark move. So we're doing Diablo. We're doing... Uh, we're bringing... Well... Should I bring in Diablo then? I think I want to do the fridge and then Itachi, actually. Okay, the fridge. We only have 20 seconds. Itachi, Diablo in the back, and Fairy Cake. The Tapu Lele in the back because that's just how it's going to be this time. Alright. I'm a little nervous. I think that was a good call. Alright. Week 7 of RBL Season 2 Battle 1 is starting. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? New coach the fire in is challenging. Okay, perfect. That's fine. I cannot tell if this is too loud, so I'm gonna turn it down anyway. There. I think that should be fine now. Um, we have multiple options we can do here actually. We could just immediately max and go for that Tangela, or we could just not max and do something else. Okay. The thing is, I probably should have brought Cinderace after all, but it's fine that he's in the back. Now we have to rely on a Blizzard or a Max. Um, hmm, interesting. I could have played that a, a little bit better, I'm not gonna lie. Because I don't want to set up Hail. Or do I? You know what? I can't see this going like wrong necessarily, I guess. So I'm gonna protect and see what happens. Just to just, just to protect, just to protect the Moltres for a turn. I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's just max the fridge out of literally thin air. I expected to max Cinderace in like all options, but knowing me, of course, I just flip it around out of nowhere. But I will take a max fridge any day at this point because I love seeing that. I love seeing Rotom Frost now. I didn't think I could attach the Rotom Frost that quick, but I really did. I just love Rotom. That's fine. I kind of expected that, I guess. We'll just hailstorm it. Yeah, is this gonna one shot or is it as a focus dash? That is not okay. Well, that's just a kill for Rotom. I think this turn's going well. I don't know what Snorlax... I'm surprised he didn't max it first turn. For someone... Like, I, I've never known strats for a... Oh! Yeah, we're kind of dead. Yeah, we're kind of dead. Oh, no. That's a maximum... What does that do? Is that a heal? Oh, no. Yeah, we're dead. We're easily dead, man. And we protected for no reason, so we can't even protect with Itachi. This Snorlax is gonna max, wreck, get its berry back, and then wreck again. But I'm just gonna keep going for the I'm just gonna keep going for the extras. We're gonna go for Raichu. I'm gonna keep going for the extras. At this point, I'm just gonna fiery wrath because I don't know what else I don't wanna try double protecting ever again. I really don't. I I assume here he's gonna max Snorlax and he's gonna destroy us, but he's probably still gonna be last, right? Yeah, all it did was, all it did was max his attack, so his speed should still be terrible. Not gonna lie, I think Raichu's gonna take out, I think they're gonna take out uh, Itachi here. It makes perfect sense for that to happen. I'm not gonna lie, the fire has got the drip. He's got like all gold. Look at that. Alright, there it is, the big beefy boy. Literal continent. Okay, Snorlax's short cry is kind of funny. Alright, what are we doing? Speed swap? No, the game's over. We're dead. He's He might even kill Rotom. He might even kill Rotom. Yeah, okay, this is over. Okay, this is just straight over. This is just straight up over now. Just straight up over. I should have easily gone for Cinderace. I don't know what I was doing just changing things out of nowhere, but that Raichu is dashed. That's not what I wanted to see. The hail's gonna take it out, though. Does a hail... Does that count as a kill for Rotom? 
I might ask about that, but I think that I'm pretty sure that counts for Rotom because Rotom caused the hail. So GG Rotom. Um, I I don't see why we don't bring. I know he's gonna kill someone, but we might as well bring in Diablo now. Better late than never, I guess. We are up like three to two, but I don't see it. I don't see that happen. I don't see it being good for us now. Okay. Um. Kind of getting a kind of getting a feel for what we're doing. I think we have to protect Itachi because I don't want Itachi dying. If we have someone that has protect, they're gonna use it. And right now it's only Itachi. So I'm at this point I'm just gonna go for a gunk shot on Tapu Fini. I'm going for the extras first. I'm really going for the extras first because I don't want to attack a Snorlax while it's max. When I know it's just gonna it's just not gonna end well for anyone. I might as well just go for the side the sidekicks. We taught you to protect. So does that mean Snorl am I am I faster than an Alolan Raichu? Okay, please hit. Please hit. This might one shot attack with Finny. Okay. Okay. Come on. One shot. I like it. Let's go Cinderace. When I found out about Gunk Shot that Cinderace actually gets it, that's the, that was my favorite move to put to put on him. So useful. But that's also a one shot. So it's also a K to D ratio is one to one, and we again we well I don't know if we don't know if Tapu Lele was gonna attack Itachi, but we pretty much just wasted another another turn with protect. But better safe than sorry, I guess, because now we're up two to one with this Snorlax. Are you kidding me? It's literally the Snorlax. Okay, is his max over? Wait, if his max is over, we might be fine. And by might, I mean probably not. But okay, it's not. Well. We we just gotta go now. We now we gotta go now. We gotta go. So there's nothing better to do than psychic, and then there's nothing. We're not double protecting. There's nothing better to do than fiery wrath thing because somehow if we're faster, we can make it flinch. I don't even know if I'm faster. Okay, Lele's the fastest, which is top tier. There's his berry again. Cool. Sure, he's gonna get his berry back again. But at this point, what else can we do? Please, who's he? Is he? If he's attacking, yeah. There's so bad. Okay, I could have played this so much better, but here we are, not playing it better. It's over. Yeah, just literally bury back. I don't see this working out for us because we're now like half health on top of that, on top of all the hail and the life orb. Like we're half health. It was a close one, but it's not gonna work for us. This is not gonna work for us. Man. Wow. Just wow, that that's that's gonna kill it. Yep. Okay. What an absolute brawl, man. I'm putting in Rhyperior. Rhyperior as a rock type in the back might be fine. Or maybe I just throw in I don't know, man. This is just bad. I don't even know what the solution is. Like, everyone worked well. It's just Snorlax was top tier broken Snorlax. Like, I don't know what to do exactly. I don't know who to put in. Mustard 2. I really don't know where to start, though. Like, we're throwing in Cinderace. We're easily throwing in Cinderace. But I think I want either Itachi or Rotom for the dark type move. I think I'm doing Diablo Itachi, Fairy Cake, and Striker because Striker is a Rock type, and as, although it doesn't look good for this matchup, if it's just Snorlax in the end, I'd rather have it be a Rhyperior in front of him, unless he's running a Fine Time move, which that might be a bad matchup in this case. But at this point, what we have left to lose besides the match itself, so let's just try it. Uh, week seven, Battle Two. Sure. Everyone's got cool league cards. Mine just is flashy. That's all I was trying to do with it. And I like it still. Alright, what do we got? Perfect. Same lead. Um here's the thing. We know the strat. I might as well not max yet. We know the strat. There's no way he's attacking us. There's no way he's attacking us. So I'm gonna pyro ball. And if he does attack us, then GG on him. 
Air Slash only hits one Pokemon, right? I should have had... Now oh, we'll just do Fiery Wrath. There we go. We'll do that. I should have had a... Does, Air... Does Galarian Moltres even get... What's the one that hits both? What's the flying type move that hits both? Air Cutter. I don't even know if that moves in this game, even. Was this a one-shot? It's not, but I'm pretty sure Moltres will take it out. And we just fire off right away. Cool. Galarian... Galarian Moltres gets a kill. I don't remember the last time that happened. Unless it was just last week and I have a terrible memory. Which I do. There's the belly drum that we don't want to see. I think at this point... I think at this point... I go right into... Max Knuckle with Cinderace. I'm not sure how it's going to go though. If this goes to a battle 3... I might start, I might just give in, start Rhyperior and max Rhyperior. I feel like Rhyperior with a fine time move would have been the move here, but hey. If I even win this battle, I'll be happy at this point. Alright, where are we going? Got to tell? That's fine, actually. Um, is it fine? I don't have Max Knuckle! Wow, I'm dumb! Oh my gosh, I'm that dumb? Why didn't I? I swear! I thought coaching... In my mind, I, I probably subliminally thought I had it from coaching, man. I forgot I still had coaching. Why didn't I take off the coaching? That's not gonna help me right now. I mean, I kind of will, but like, I'm not gonna use... Well... Wait. Well? Wait a minute. That's not a smart play, right? To coaching Itachi while we max? That's not a smart play, is it? You know what? Can I take a chance and think that he's going for Cinderace? While we sacrifice Cinderace to make... We're gonna try it. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I wanna see it happen. Go for... If he attacks Cinderace, I'm gonna be so happy. Because we're just gonna raise Cin uh, Itachi's defenses real quick while we sacrifice Diablo. Please hit Cinderace. That's not even a... I don't know what this is anymore. What am I even doing? I'm just trying to have fun. And, by, and that just means we do something like this. Coaching coaching it up. Coaching it up. We're a fine time move, so that... We're a fine time move, yeah. We're a fine type Pokemon, so that might help something. Even though Gossetel can just destroy us now. Alright, our physical defense. Alright, that's fine. Sure. Do have health the goth to tell real quick. Who is he hitting, please? That's not what I wanted to see. That's not what I expected, even. So we literally wasted a turn with Cinderace. I'm, I'm oh my gosh! And if he does a psychic time move, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a fit. Oh, he trick rune. Rhyperior. Rhyperior though? We can still max Rhyperior here. Wait a minute. Hello? Hello? I don't know who's slower, but hello? Like, this could work. Somewhere, somehow, this could work. Coaching doesn't have priority, right? It just is coaching. Man, I want a coaching... Now I want a coaching striker. I don't know what I'm doing. Someone needs to stop me. Should I go for a darkness for Gothitelle, or should I just, nah. Actually, you know what, sh uh. Let's do Max Quake. Let's see what we can do with Snorlax real quick. Striker's in the building, everyone watch out. This is my boy right here. At this point, I might like him more than Cinderace. That's a lie, I just want to take that back real quick. But he's a close, like, third between Obstagoon that's, like, somewhere over there in, in the Pokemon bin. And, right, and, uh, Cinderace. I don't remember what I was saying. Okay. Now he's probably hitting Cinderace. Yeah, whatever. We were Trick Room anyway, so it would the same thing would have happened. Alright, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Please tell me you don't have... If this Gothitelle has, like, some dumb water type move... Alright, how much is this going to do? It's probably not going to do much. We'll just take out Gothitelle next turn. It's fine. It's all fine. 
I, I actually don't know what to do. Like, I think it's just over, first of all. But second of all, I don't, I don't even know what I... Well, at least we got our weakness policy set off. Got to tell can learn energy ball. I mean, so can Tapu Lele, but like, got to tell's not a, a deity. Sure. Okay. Uh, whatever. Let's go. What are we doing? I think now, yeah, I'm gonna go against got to tell Rift Viperior, and Lele's just gonna use a psychic to whittle down Snorlax. Oh, we have Shadow Ball. Eh, no, we're still gonna just... Because we're probably gonna lose Tapu Lele here anyway. I'd rather take out Got to Tell. I'd rather take out Got to Tell and not have... Um, I'd rather not have... Okay, that's fine. I'd rather not have Lele locked into Shadow Ball, because that just doesn't sound right. Here we go again. That's dead. What are you supposed to do against this? What are you supposed to do against this? I actually don't know. We're dead. We're done. It's just Striker. What are you supposed to do against this? That almost... Oh, dang it. If I can get a Rock Fall off on Snorlax, we can get Sandstorm and lose that Gothitelle at least. But the... Oh, it has a Berry. Never mind. Forget what I just said. How, wait. How does I have a... Why did I heal it now? Why did I heal it now? Was it? Was it? Is that Barry if it gets hit by a dark type move? Because what the heck? Alright. The most we can do is a rock fall and hope we just take it out. So whatever. Come on. Come on, buddy. I believe in you, Striker. Oh, yeah, we're dead. I don't know what it's doing, but we're dead, man. I'm going to be so sad if we die to something. Why? <sighs> Are you kidding me? A scene bomb. Why does he get scene bomb? Why does he get Seed Bomb? Alright, whatever. Stupid game, man. Whatever. GG, Sapphire. And that... Already someone else I'm going to start losing to. GG, man. That's that's over, though. Okay. Well, if this has been Nat Flame. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Until next time, take care.